there are still things we can do. Come. Come, come. Right, there's one thing I want to do. Um, I want to light all the braziers on the, uh, on the towers. Did we do this one? We'll find out, I'm sure. So why do they call Odin the Lord of the Hang? That refers to a modest example of Odin's thirst for knowledge. The time he spent nine days a dead man. Aye, hung himself by the neck from Yggdrasil's branches, put his spear through his own side and bled down into the Well of Destiny. He roamed the realms of the dead and plundered the world tree of its secrets, until I think quite rightly it got fed up with him and sent him back to the land of the living. Did I not mention he was barking mad? <laughs> well then. That's one way to go about it. Another name. Hilder. Someone who loved the Valkyries enough to do this? I wonder. Perhaps the queen? Hmm. Well, I can see that we need to go this one, so... And we got that one. Oh, I wonder about the dragon, actually. If there's anything under there. Can't believe I never saw this dragon. Like... Hmm. I mean, I knew he crashed somewhere, but... Damn. Any good stories, lad? Ooh, loot. Hey! I saw that. Come here. You never told me what happened with the stonemason's son. Ringsthur, son of Thamur. After completing his father's masterwork at the Great Wall of Jotunheim, he thought of nothing but making the Aesir pay for their crimes against the giants. Once, he longed to fight Thor, but tragedy had brought wisdom to Hrimthor and cunning. He observed that Asgard's walls were half-built and shoddy, for no Aesir god could be bothered with such tiresome labor. So Hrimthor adopted the guise of an ordinary man and made the Aesir an offer. He would build them majestic new walls, and if he couldn't build them within two turns of the season, they would owe him nothing for his labors. And if he succeeded, he asked only for an audience with the goddess Freya. Odin agreed, knowing the task was impossible, but intrigued by this stranger. Arimthur made short work of it, of course. He had the benefit of his father's training and the aid of a magical stallion for fetching stones. <laughs> Odin was not happy to find himself on the losing end of the wager, but he seemed to uphold his end of the bargain. Freya was sent to meet the mason, and to her surprise, he wanted only to whisper something in her ear. That being done, he made his way out of Asgard, and when he found Thor awaiting him at the gates of Midgard, he knew he had been double-crossed. But he didn't care, because his plan was complete. It was? What did he say to Freya? Only she could say for certain, but I've had many moons to work it out. Yeah, and? Harimthur knew that Freya loathed the Aesir, despite her marriage to Odin. And I believe he gave her the secret to Asgard's defenses. Some weakness he may have built in, structural or magical, which I expect will be exploited come Ragnarok when Surtur arrives to burn Asgard to ash. If not sooner. <laughs> cool. What have we here? Huh? You telling me? God damn it. Uh, always a long way around things, isn't it? Where the hell do we need a dock? Huh? What in the world? Here? We can beach over here. Yeah, sure, why not? There we go. 
I forget. That's easy. Way to kill them. No sweat. Hey, hello, what? What's in here? Hmm. Symbol of defiance, all right. Well, now we just need to go up. So, please turn the spikes away. Thank you. I don't like those spikes. Old, old loot. I'll take it. And up. Hey. Oh, now we're here. And if we keep going up. Do we get where we need to go? Yeah, we do. Nice. Ooh. Be ready. Hold her still. Hello. Look here. Another. This one is there. A frost giant king. Correct. A cunning one as well. Is that Mjolnir? Did he steal Thor's hammer? Aye. For a time. A lot of these seem to end with Thor killing them. Imagine that. Yeah, imagine. And guess what's gonna happen when uh, some giant do his little painting. Oh, another chest. Next. Bump. Will we find another traveler behind the door? Yeah, big one. Perhaps we're meant to find something in Muspelheim and Niflheim. Perhaps. Then we go. Now, this tower. Ah, oh, yes, here's my book. I wonder if we can reach a dragon and like loot something off of its corpse or something. 
Donk. So, if you remember, I'd started a doozy of a story earlier. It was about Skadi, Queen of the Hunt. She was called Skadi, Queen of the Hunt. Her father was Thiotsi, who could take the shape of any wild creature and taught Skadi how to hunt them all. From the ribs of pack beasts, she fashioned second feet, allowing her to glide upon the snow so no animal could evade her. She became a huntress beyond compare, even to any god. Odin himself wanted her for his bride, believing she would bear him strong sons. Hmm. But she spurned his affections, and for that insult, Odin vowed revenge. It was put forth that the Aesir were plagued by an eagle who would steal the precious golden apples of Idun. Not even the finest archer among the gods could bring it down. Odin knew that Skadi could not resist the temptation to prove herself superior, and so she joined the hunt. Mm. Skadi tracked the eagle as it flew where she alone could glide, and loosed an arrow from her unerring bow. When she collected her quarry, she found no eagle at all. But her own father, poor Theotzi, slain by his own daughter. She was overcome with grief and shame. For there is nothing nature so reviles as a child who kills their parent. Skadi succumbed to her fate as winter's blanket fell, holding her father as the mountain held her in an embrace to last eternity. Well, that was sad. Aye. There aren't many happy endings for the giants, I'm afraid. Yikes. Oh, up the tower we go. Hopefully I can turn this wheel. Thank you. Yeah, I am going up there. Click the wheel, Kratos. Click the wheel! <laughs> Nothing you want to kill me? Another name. Gooner. Nice. Yeah. Blop. It went through the wall. You gotta love pop axis recalls back and forth. It's great. Now, how do we get up there again? Oh, yes, yeah, on the beach here. Let's have a look. Oh, it's just a quick way down. Okay. Nothing new here. Okie dokie. Whoop. Yep. Meh. Uh -huh. The way up. Okay, that was weird. Oh, there is something here. What? More dragon tears? Ah! Poor dragon, though. But now I can upgrade the... Um Shattered Gauntlet of Ages to its full capacity. Who do you think you are, huh? Oh, there's another one. Oh, 
<laughs> that will never not get funny. Nice. Alright. Next. Oh, that would be this one. <laughs> Up the elevator we go, once again. Yoink! Speaketh the name, boy. Another name. Aura. Just one left, and I see it. Oh, it's a Jotunheim tower. I think. It would seem. Got any more stories for us, my mirror? What's that down there? Stuff. No stories? Okay. My mirror, why don't you tell us the story of the giant that stole Thor's hammer? Yeah, Happily, sure. my boy. <laughs> it involves your friend Freya, too, though I don't expect it's one she'd enjoy being reminded of. The giant was called Thrym, and he proved cunning enough to make off with Mjolnir while the thunder lummock slept. Sadly for Thrym, he didn't always think with his brain. Uh -oh. Though he had robbed the greatest giant killer of his greatest weapon, he offered to trade it back to the Aesir in exchange for Freya as his bride. Now, at this point, Freya was married to Odin, and Odin, frankly, would have traded her for a sufficiently strong mead, but he saw an opportunity here. Thrym's palace was in Jotunheim, and only giants know the way. Hmm. By agreeing to the marriage, they'd have to escort Freya back to their realm. So, Odin coerced Freya into using her Sather magics to conceal Thor, so he could sneak along with her and infiltrate Jotunheim. When the hammer was produced as the wedding dowry, Thor revealed himself. He took back Mjolnir and wasted no time in smashing Thrym's skull, followed by every other giant present for the festivities. The only thing that put a stop to it was Freya, who wanted no part of this massacre. She cast a powerful spell that hurtled them both out of Jotunheim with no means of return. Odin was livid, hoping that Thor's foothold in Jotunheim would become his own, and oh, would he ever revenge himself upon Freya? What is the point of this story, Head? Well, for Thrym, the lesson would be to keep his priorities straight. <laughs> for Freya, it's that doing good has a price. For Thor, it's that no object of power makes you what you are. And if what you are is the biggest butchering bastard in the Nine Realms, nobody can take that away from you. Yikes. Let's light this brazier. <laughs> Bonk. Up, up, and up we go. Oh, hello. What's around here? Last one. Here, Drifter. Look at that. Maybe we can survive a fight with the Valkyrie now. Reduce all damage from Valkyrie attacks with 5%, stacking up to 15%. Oh, come on. What's this then? You want to see what we can trade those for? Do we. Oh, we got our artifact chips. Nice. This ought to be good. There we go. Here, take the axe. 
And you stand still. You are one precious son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mimir. Ah, that's nice. You are one vicious son of a bitch. <laughs> uh... yeah, they're both duck farms. Oh, well. Why did I take the boat? I could have just teleported into the room, but oh well. I want to have a chat with Brock and Cindy. If I'm not mistaken, we've yet to discuss the tale of the giant Bergelmir. Bergelmir? Oh yeah. I remember his shrine. It looked happier than the other ones. Mostly. It begins in an ocean of blood. Finally. A story worth hearing. <laughs> if you remember, Ymir, the first giant, was fatally stabbed by Odin. It's in his blood our story starts. Ymir's magical guts poured out in a torrent so violent it threatened to flood all of creation. The Jotnar were unprepared, as the very last of them were washed away in the endless tide. Not just Ymir, but all of giant kind faced extinction. And so mm. would Odin's victory have been complete. But Emir's kind did not all perish that day. Staying afloat in the hollowed husk of a tree, the frost giant Bergomir endured, as did his lady wife. Mm. For weeks they sailed, until finally they came upon a new land. They called it Jotnheim. And there they would start anew. As father and mother, they would multiply exceedingly, and as king and queen, they worked to make Jotunheim a land where giants would know no master but themselves. Bergelmir never sought revenge for Odin's slaughter. His vengeance was to live and prosper. Well, then. He died at peace, a legion of his kin to mourn him. He would ever be known as Bergelmir the Beloved. Bergelmir the Beloved. Huh. I've never heard a story end that way. Not a true one, anyway. If you do, laddie. I don't waste seagulls. Don't get time for you. Alright, Brock, Sindri, word please. So how was your trip to Jotunheim? Will you give them a little privacy? The kid just found out he's a giant. He doesn't need you interrogating him. Brock, you knew? Oh, we knew Faye was the last guardian of the Jotnar left in Midgard. That's why we made her the axe. We hoped it could restore the balance of power. After Thor went all breezers with our hammer. Though in the end, it seems, she chose another path. She chose, well, you. Both of you. I suppose she figured that was the best chance for the Giants to live on. And now, I suppose, that's up to you. How about oh. a young Jotun with us the whole time? And the son of Laufey, the just... Uh, I should have seen it before. <laughs> okay, what's good? <laughs> okay, what... Okay. Wait, hold on, what? Don't I already have this? It costs how much? Fifty thousand? Yeah, sure, why not? All 
Right. Hmm. Can we upgrade anything? No, no. We could, but that's not great. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Aye, wait a minute. Shattered gone for the pages. I'll take it. See you next, where's I see you? Indeed. No. Ooh. Right. Uh, that was Prometheus Flame Armor. Sockets. No, we have a lot to go through, don't we? Yep. And up we go again. Choose rage gain, rage presence, damage taken. Yeah, sure, why not? Resilience. Eh. What's the last one then? Fine, I'll take it. Ooh, we hit level seven now. That's nice. Yeah, see, I want these things. Essence of Ares, Essence of Athena, Essence of Zeus. Hey, what's that? Requires Vernic. Ah. Wait, do we have any of them? Oh, what's this? Oh. Okay, wait. Are we rune expect? Yeah, we rune expect now. Well, that's nice. Well then. Well. Hmm. Man. I'm just gonna. Favors completed. Twelve or twelve artifacts found. Huh. Mystic Gateways. Ravens, lore markers, Nornair chests. Wait, I haven't found all of them yet? Huh. Well, I'll find them. Uh, two undiscovered. One raven left. Hey, why don't we just take a trip to Alfheim? I haven't been there in a spell. And uh, we'll go fight the goddamn Valkyrie. Why not? Rage mode incoming. Oh, it's gonna be horrible. I just know it. Alfheim, please. No, not Muslimheim. No. 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 I just went the whole way around. Here. Did you call Mother? Lafe the Just? Did you know her? I never had the pleasure. Lofi was a rumor in the halls of Asgard. A giantess warrior who thwarted many an Aesir god's plans. Freeing those who they would enslave, feeding those who they would starve, generally making a nuisance of herself in the most noble of ways. Thor was terribly frustrated he could never find her to fight. Once my <laughs> imprisonment began, I could only wonder what became of her and who she would turn out to be. Thor was this quite a singular lineage, lad. Indeed. Right, well, let's have some fun. Do I have a restriction stone? No, I do not. I'll need one. Let's do it. Uh, so, artifacts. Why not? At least we got that taken care of. Yeah, we did. 
Enchantments. Get all of these out of the way. And I'm making some money, so I am happy. Brock doesn't look happy that we're <laughs> grabbing all this hacks delivery. <laughs> Alright. Did I get the stone? No, they're not. Thank you. Alright. Now what was the other? I don't know, Brock. You tell me. Ah, uh, Alpine. I missed its gentle breeze and the sweet smell of honeysuckle and blood. Well, judging by the sky, the light elves are in control of the light this time. Explain. You see. The light elves and dark elves are always fighting over the light. That part we know. But did you also know that control of the light has changed hands no less than 213 times? Really? Who's gang? But I mean Each side believes itself the rightful keepers of the light and argue they're simply fighting for survival. But the fact of the matter is, the war has been going on so long, they don't know who they are without it. Well then. Well, let's see. The axe can. There we go. Oh. Actually, I want to see what this does. That's it. I didn't do too much. There we go. All right, to the boat. Hello, Sindri. Bye, Sindri. So, clear this up for me. Svartalfine means land of the Dark Elves, right? Right. But you said the Dark Elves have been here now for a really long time. And anyway, aren't dwarves supposed to be from Svartalfine? They don't look like Dark Elves. Don't you think so? Then you are vastly more perceptive than the Aesir. <laughs> they're the ones who apparently can't tell the difference. And they're the ones who came up with that name. Dwarves actually call their home realm Nidavellir. So the Dark Elves aren't from Svartalfheim at all? Not even a bit. They're just elves of another colour. Nobody knows who came first, but they all come from Alfheim. Oh, wow. Why do they fight all the time if they're really the same? That is adorable. Huh? It is the way of the world. Oh. Well, that's sad. Indeed. No, it's the left. Yeah, it's left. Oh, I'm not mentally prepared for this, I'll be honest. Good, the laser beam will be on the Valkyries. Oh, I never tried that.
Oh, here we go. That would explain the hefty magical lock on the outside. But it's more than that. I have this feeling like something is waiting for us down here. You've a knack for ominous statements, lad. Agreed. What kind of something? I'm not sure. Something powerful. Whatever you feel, boy, we will handle it. We have come this far, yes? Yes, father. You have a knack for ominous statements. Yeah, I can say that again. I'll take the silver. Take it in my pocket. I'll take it. Oh boy. Let's. Oh, thought we could go to the side. Guess not. A Valkyrie? Imprisoned? She actually did it. A Valkyrie? But I thought they were just spirits. Take caution, lads. A Valkyrie in the flesh. I can't think of a more formidable opponent. She does not attack. Does she even know we're here? Well, that's that one done. Alright, it's doing damage. Alright! I'm dead. Hang on! Yeah! That's the Valkyries! There we go! <laughs> yeah! So, the beam did do quite a lot of damage. Maybe because we are expecting the runic. It does runic damage, but... Oh, man. Am I not ready for this? But hey, I'll do it anyway. There we go. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Do not worry about me. Wow. Man, I like she moves too fast. Okay. I need to use the uh, lift button. Like, 
Again? I am just so trash at this game. <laughs> more <sighs> he's dying I swear she's dying All right let's just slash is fine I think apparently slam grapple no I wonder if this could be good torture's rage Try this one is okay. That's the storm. Mm -hmm. uh, no, oh, that's that one. I know this one to be useful. Uh, so let's try that. Uh, as for this one... Alright, that should be better, I think. Okay, that worked to some degree. Woo. No, of course, my bad. I just need to dodge right every time. She always does it with her right wing. Oh, man. Actually, let's see if we can... Definitely not okay, Mimir. Oh, 
I need to come. Come on. I'm coming to you. <laughs> Son. That's a lie, but right. Cool. That was a gamble, all right. Just Hmm. Well then. So what? Uh, we have this. Da, 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 da. Uh, I think I know what the problem is. Uh, uh, perfect eye of the realm. Du -du 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 -du. No. Here I have Tear Shard. That's one of them, I think. Nope. That's one. So what if I just... Put that in. And then we put this here. I think that should change the gauntlet. I did something. Right. Ha! 
Definitely got closer though. Definitely got closer. Hmm. is unbelievably cruel. Ah, man. Alright, I don't think this... What even have we? Hmm... No. Try it, you know. This one doesn't seem to work too well. Oh, that's that one. That's that one's pretty good. Does a lot of damage. Maybe this works well on the Valkyries. I don't know. 
Oh, seen far now. Wow, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Fuck's sake. God damn it. Oh. There we go. Now she's active. Not using that one ever again. Now she's a little bit frozen. Doesn't matter. Can't throw even when she's frozen. One, two, dodges, and there she goes. One, two. Okay, brother. Fuck. Brother, get up, brother. You so got that fast, and the camera doesn't follow with. That's so annoying. Ah. <sighs> right. This has to change. Aerial slam. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I'm sure. Frost axe, please. We begin with taking down a whole bar of HP. That's perfect. Get frost up. Don't let get wolves out. Fucking real. Fuck's sake. Mm. 
I'll get you. Oh, I'll get you. Give me this, please. No, no ball color for you. Please don't move. Thank you. No, thank you. Fuck. Oh, getting closer. The opening was really good, though. I did a bunch of damage or HP. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm too tired for this. Frost. Gauntlet. Wolves, please. Can't see a bloody thing. Yeah, but you did. Right. Oh, for fuck's sake, I need to double roll. I don't trust myself to dodge it without a double roll. Getting it down a little bit, sort of, maybe. Let's go. Uh, where the fuck is she? There she is. One, two, and dodge. Into light runic. There we go. Heavy runic. Nice. Oh. Wait. B. My best friend. While she is stunned. Putting too much too much faith in the um, enhanced blessing of frost here. River knives, clave storm. No. No. Let's just do blade storm up here. No, I need to be every again. Apologies. I'll be back in just one moment.
Get this bitch. Start off with that. Oh my god, that works. Whew. One, two, one, two. Dodge. One, two, one, two. And fuck. Am I hurt? Yes, kid, I am. Well, I just screwed up my run. Oh, no, thank you. Boom. One, two. Oh, for fuck's sake. Annoying. <laughs> I was in Spartan rage. God damn it. Rolls, please. Don't let switch. Two in a row, are you? Man. I need to fight more in the center of the room. Like, honestly. Because I keep getting myself. Crap in the middle somewhere. And I'm dead. Boy, that's just perfect. I know, right? Let's try a different light runic for the blades. Uh What's that? Spot and charge? No. This one might be the best one, actually. One, two. 
big dodge. Wolves, please. Thanks for the heads up, my mirror. I have I dodged instead of parried. And I can't perfect parry her. That's so annoying. I feel like I'm getting there. I feel like I'm getting there. Though. Just not, mm, just not quite. Wolves, please. Oh, 
Thanks for the tip, kid. No. the very thing. God. One, two. Form. Yes, I have. You have my eternal gratitude. No problem. But my sisters remain trapped as I was. That sucks. Take my helm. Find them. Oh, okay. Free them. The fate of the Valkyries rest on your shoulders. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Take the helm, Kratos. Put it in your magical bag. But give me all that loot, please. The fate of the Valkyries. Sounds pretty important. That's putting it mildly, lad. What do you know of them? You sort of laid in your favor. Question, and yet not one different. easily answered. I know more than most, but much of their history is veiled in secrecy. My own experience with the Valkyries ends with my imprisonment. You are avoiding the question, Head. As I said, brother, it's complicated. I don't know why. Hell no. I or how they become such wretched creatures. Perhaps if we can free more of them. You want us to find more of them? The fate of the Valkyries, lad. A more worthy mm. endeavor there is not. It will be dangerous. Well, that hasn't stopped you before, eh? Mm. That's the spirit. Oh. Is that 100% in Alfheim now? Yep. Nice. Oh, I'm back to chop. To the chop, rather. Oh. You know, like... I died so many times with stupid mistakes, and then I go a full run without taking a single damage, and that's a kill run. It's a tricky thing, lad. And Odin's just arrogant enough to think he can get the best of it. Fate is another lie told by the gods. Nothing is written that cannot be unwritten. On that, brother, you and the Old Father may just agree. Even if he can't <laughs> prevent Ragnarok, he still hopes to learn enough details to influence the outcome. Well then. Remind me later to tell you about the wolves. Oh, we, well, we got some Asgardian steel, so we can upgrade the uh, the armor we're wearing, which is sick, by the way. Still love it. So, let's do it. Hell yeah! Uh, 
chest armor? Oh, we just need a shit ton more hack silver. Oh, okay. Don't we have anything to sell? Chest armor. Good to see you sweating the details. <laughs> nice. Cool. Now we can upgrade that. It's mm. a pretty big upgrade, actually. Nice. Well, we need more. Wow. Really? Wait. Oh. Right. Right, 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 right. Cool. Now well, there's something else. Now there isn't. That is going to be enough for today. We finished the story of the game, and now we are just doing the legendary Valkyries to finish up the game. Yeah, that will be all. I hope you all have a pleasant, con continued pleasant Thursday, or whatever day you're watching this on YouTube. And I will catch you in the next video or on the next stream. Bye-bye.